tastes like compared to a new Campari. Oh, okay. So what does the old Campari taste like in comparison to the new one? Well, I think we're going to find out on the next episode. I know this sounds crazy, but watch this clip before I taste this stuff. The Campari bottles have changed throughout the years and I don't have all of them here. But as you can see, this one here is the newest one that I have. This one here is the oldest one. The oldest one that I have here is down, is probably 1980s. This one here is late 90s, early 2000. And this one here is the bottle from today. A couple things that have changed, well actually quite a bit. If you look at the oldest one, it just said Campari on the cap in blue letters. Now this is not for the Italian market, it's actually for the American market because if it were for the Italian market, it would have a little seal here, which clearly it does not have. On this one here, the cap is also blue, but in the case here, it also says Milano and it has the seal of Campari. Uh, today, the seal and the Campari words are still there but the top of the cap is red. Really fascinating how they've rebranded. Uh, one of the other things that intrigues me, the cocktails on the back are almost the same. Uh, over here on this one, it says Campari uh, and orange juice, also known as the Garibaldi. I have an episode on the Garibaldi, you should go check it out. Honestly, one of my favorite episodes I filmed. And then there's the Campari and soda, and there's the Campari on the rocks. Now over here on this one, the cocktails are exactly the same. And over here though, in this one here, the Campari and soda disappears. It's the Campari Negroni and the Campari OJ, also known as the Garibaldi. One other thing of note, which I found very interesting is back in the day, the very fancy letters of the bottle of Campari said aperitivo. Now, if you've watched my video on aperitivi versus bitters, Versus, versus Amari, you know that that can be very confusing because Campari is a bitter. It's not an aperitivo, even though you can drink it as an aperitivo. Confusing, but if you watch that video, you will know what I mean. Now the fancy writing 20 years later went away from saying aperitivo and it went to saying bitter. Isn't that cool? So now aperitivo is what it said here. Bitter, it was what it said in the early 2000s. And then over here now to this day, still the same fancy writing, but it just says Milano. So it went from what it, when you drink it, because you drink it for aperitivo, meaning before a meal, to what it is, to what it's, where it's made. Interesting. Cameraman extraordinaire of Master Glass Bronson is going to pour some Campari somewhere here in this area. <laughs> and then he's going to give me the glass and I will know what's in it and then I'm gonna taste it. Um, by the way, I just filmed another episode of Fernet, uh, of a Fernet Campari drink called the Ferrari. So being blindfolded and having a little buzz on sure makes this episode even more interesting for me to film. Just the, the suspense of this happening is killing me because, so I do tastings all the time and I do blind tastings. I mean, I judge in spirit competitions and I never know what's in front of me. But now this time I know that I have three products that are technically the same from three different eras. And I don't know if I'm gonna notice the difference. I think the, I, I, what I'm leaning towards is, oh, thank you. Is this? <laughs> it's an octopus, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Okay. So I wanna know, like, I'm curious to see how I'm gonna catch the difference between the old and the new and yeah, all that stuff, let's see. By the way, something to be said is that often on the internet you read the difference between the Campari of once and Campari of, of today, that today's is artificially colored and that of the past was not. Even the old bottle of Campari, the oldest one that I showed you, on the label says artificially colored. Now clearly it's got more of that burgundy purple color, it's not bright red like today. Um, 
but so it's colored in a different way, but nonetheless, it is still artificial. Okay, got it. Okay. Definitely different, okay. From the aroma, and I, this isn't my final decision, older, newer. Mm. Dang. These two are very similar, very, very similar. So I want to say this one was the first one that was over here. And this one is the third one. And this guy in the middle is different. Interesting. Okay. No question about it, this is a newer one, I wanna say. It's got a silky texture, not as old and musty as I'm expecting the older one to be, but let me see. Wow, so hard. Well, the good news is for all of you watching out there that there is a slight difference for sure. But all three of these are drinking pretty darn good, which means if you're like one of those that thinks that, you know, in the good old days they made it better, they don't. It tastes pretty much similar here. Oh, this is impossible. All right. Okay. What's the verdict? Oldest. Um, sweetest. Oh. Okay. This is a completely fake narrative. Campari came to the market with this one. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Campari came with this one to the market. Then it sweetened it up a little bit for the American palate. So this one's the oldest. This one's the newer one from the two, early 2000s, late 90s. This one is the one from today. Final verdict. I give up. All right. Take off the blindfold. So from your right to left mm -hmm. is the order I gave it to you in. Okay. And that is the current order that you have it in, right? So, so the oldest is in the middle. So the sweeter one was in the middle, okay. Interesting. The second oldest was the one left. The new youngest one is in your hand. So I basically got the order. You got the order on the table right. Good. But, but not, <laughs> not the not, tasting. Not the tasting, that's funny. All righty. Well, this was actually fun. I wish I had a lot more vintage spirits and, and drinks out there available uh, or spirits out there available. But I really don't. When I do, I will, uh, I will make more of this. This was actually one of my funnest episodes to film. Well, what uh, did we learn today? Uh, we learned that I, I guess the learning point here is that no, using the older version doesn't make it better. And how great was it? And how terrible is it that Campari has changed? I really, really, really uh, have a hard time 
I'm uh, dissecting the difference between a Negroni made with this one versus a Negroni made with this one. And this is the oldest and this is the newest. Uh, despite the fact that there are some very fine differences in it, uh, I learned that um, Campari came to the market a little sweeter than it is today. How cool is that, that they notched down the sweetness uh, for us? And uh, I also learned that if you, uh, that I enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please comment below. Let me know what you think. And come back to Master Glass for more expert instruction for everyday consumption.